Hello everybody, my name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of the beautiful Minecraft Harmony Mod Pack. How you doing, man? Isn't it so beautiful? Yes, welcome back. We are standing here in our lovely kind of, I don't even know what we've called this area to be honest. <laughs> the, the basin, the basin of champions. <laughs> I'm not as sure. Everything the is base of champions. everything. Like everything is uh, of champions, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm doing very well. Doing very well. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad, not bad. So we came up with some plans for things to do, didn't we? Like I've got like a floating rudimentary vine farm now going. We're yes. just trying to get some resources at this point, man. Yeah, just trying to get the materials that we don't have in abundance around us because obviously we've got a whole lot of stone and grass and wood and so forth. But yeah, there's just the occasional little thing that you miss when you don't have it nearby. Stuff like vines so we can make some nice mossy cobblestone and mossy stone brick and right now i'm thinking about food because i've only got 60 fish left and uh you know man cannot live on fish alone so i'm thinking maybe we turn a uh, an area over here into a little crop farm today sounds like a plan to me so what's the plan i'm thinking <laughs> it sounds like a plan what is the plan we're going to <laughs> we're going to wall off a uh, a little area over here i'm going to make probably a few different sections for the different veggies we've got wheat we've got beets we've got potatoes and carrots sugarcane melon seeds that kind of stuff i'm probably not going to use mushrooms for anything i just got them in my inventory for some reason um <laughs> so so yeah we'll have like little sections of the farm here make sure there's like water channels running around here so everybody uh get hydrated as they should and uh yeah if, if it if you feel like doing a bit of decoration around the place getting like a nice cobblestone wall around here maybe i am definitely down for that i've got some mossy cobble mossy cobble walls slabs all sorts of stuff it's gonna be beautiful dude something tells me i'm gonna need something a little bit more substantial than a wooden hoe but that's what we're starting off with because that's what i crafted <laughs> so all right let's let's do it let's do it Oh, yeah. I was so, like, how many sections did you say you'd have? So, did you include beetroot in that? Yes. So? so, wheat, beetroot, melons, and I guess pumpkins as well. Potatoes, carrots. I probably want an area for sugarcane too. So, we're looking at maybe seven or eight different sections, really. Ooh, a mega farm. I like it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking about making this more like a part of the scenery rather than just have it be uh, like a little occasional farm. You know, it needs to be larger in scale, I think. Yeah, yeah, like a like a big old wheat field. Yeah, like this is supplying basically a whole town, if a whole town existed here yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah, so I'm thinking about maybe having um, like water channels kind of like this going around the place. And obviously there's little reeds and stuff growing in here because uh, Biome Bundle is doing its thing. But it always looks kind of nice when stuff is irrigated like this in little channels rather than just a single water source block despite the fact that it takes away some of the farmland i kind of i like this method of growing growing crops where you've got a channel going through them like that so we're going to start with that and see how we get on yeah okay so in the meantime i'm just trying to get a bit of a sort of messy fence going oh, that's looking nice I'm liking the fact that you're not using, like, still water. Like, it's nice and flowing. Yeah. It's and and character it's, to it. It's one of those things, like, I always imagined that you needed still water sources to hydrate farmland. But it can actually be anything down to, like, this tiny little one block wide kind of really shallow water down here. Like, running water will still hydrate this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm I'm quite pleased with this so far. I think it's looking pretty good. Do you know what? That actually works really well. It only being two blocks tall. Like, I don't think it needs to be anything more than it, really. No, I think that's great. That looks good to me. Yeah, just need to get some more blocks and running out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so nice to be uh, out here in the middle of the night farming and not having to worry about blood moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're telling me. Holy moly. Still, could be worse. We could be really underprepared and just get killed a whole bunch. Yes. <laughs> yeah. At least we know we can uh, we can deal with it these days. <laughs> We're seasoned oh. at this point. We've uh, battle hardened. Seasoned veterans. Right. Oh my my soul bound axe is nearly broken. I didn't realize just how much vein mining I did in the last episode yeah. with our freaking biome, dude. Yeah, you got to be careful about that stuff. I'm uh, a little bit worried about my axe, but at least it's got unbreaking on it now. So. Don't have to worry too much about it. Something I've been doing lately is uh, putting the grass path blocks that you use with the, the right click of the shovel. Uh, I've been putting them around farmland because they have the same kind of height difference to like regular grass. And it just kind of makes it look like a little bit more more developed, I guess. Yeah. 
I kind of like that. It's a nice bit of texturing nice. you can do around farms. All right. Well, I guess in the meantime, what we can do is a little bit of a jump cut, maybe even a little third person time lapse on my end. And then, uh, yeah, we could see what kind of things we can get going here. Considering we had a, uh, a skeleton spawner, <laughs> you know, we had two skeleton spawners going at once. We're like, what, do we have any bone meal? Well, I guess not. <laughs> Absolutely oh, wow. nuts. Man, this, uh, this place is looking... It? It's looking great. I'm so happy with this. I think maybe if we got a couple of like ferns and stuff to put in there as well, make some tall ferns, because apparently ferns grow around pumpkin patches quite a lot. Um, Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe mix in some pods all if there's some of that in the local area that we can silk touch, but I've only got an efficiency shot and I've got a silk touch, so never mind. Uh, let's just <laughs> quickly silk touch some of this by cover of darkness. <laughs> we'll come in here and we'll <laughs> steal the pods all. Man, I really wish pods all would spread. I feel like that's... Uh, that's the one problem with pods all, is that, I mean, you get it in quite large areas, but then there's just no way of producing it after that. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I mean, if, if mycelium is spreadable, then I, I really do think that pods all should be able yeah, to spread yeah. as well. It just makes sense. Yes, but anyway, applying a little bit of this around the pumpkin patch, I've just grabbed in 16. We don't need a huge amount of it, but it's going to look good over by the farmland. And while I'm flying back over here I might take a quick aerial view of this because that that just looks really nice I think <laughs> I think it's uh, it's really come together I like I loved your idea of having the lamps around the outside that was super cool and having the extra bushes and stuff around here just makes it feel a little bit more alive you know makes it feel so much more organic and whatnot yeah yeah I agree just nice I mean it means to an extent we could get rid of a bunch of these torches yes <laughs> and the zombies spawning in here won't mind <laughs> and even still, maybe what I could do is maybe place some glowstone in the water. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. It's a solid way of concealing it. Excuse me. Oh, hello? Oh, you sneaky... How could you do that? How <laughs> save... could you live with yourself? I was going to say save the villager, but I think he was a nitwit, so not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> nitwit, we can... Go back to school, buddy. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Learn a... <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> Learn some sort of vocation, for goodness sake. Right. <laughs> Well, this this is a top farm. I am I've been I'm the happiest with this farm that I've been at pretty much any other farm for a while. Like this is this is some some top quality aesthetic farm work, and I love it. Yeah, Let's I'm definitely down with this. Obviously, guys, uh, head down to the comments area. Let us know what you think. But uh, yeah. we ourselves, I'm 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 down with this. I I'm, really, I'm, really I'm chuffed by it. I think it's uh, it's looking great. Heck yeah, I'm just spreading some more sugarcane around these here little trapdoors you got going, which was a brilliant idea, by the way. There's a specific kind of like layout I like to have with these things that uses the the most uh, efficient amount of space. <laughs> we put yeah, one of those down yeah. there, and then um, I think this one can go here, and then you can put four around it, and yeah, you're wasting no space this way. It's kind of like a pinwheel design, and pretty much always what I do for sugarcane. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> there we go. Lovely little farm. And yeah, this will be producing crops for us. I think we're probably going to come to a compromise and disable the uh, winter kind of crop death thing that happens because, you know, it's going to snow regardless, which I'm fine with. But planting all of this stuff and then just having it die and having to replant it is a bit of a pain. It's not quite the quality of life we want in terms of this series. So No, nah, not particularly. So, yeah, we'll get, we'll definitely go ahead and uh, disable that going forward and mm -hmm. then we can have like a nice supply. I mean, I guess I could kind of understand it, you know, if you have the season's clock and everything. If you're doing it properly with the whole yeah. tough as nails thing. But yeah. we just want the seasons more than anything. Yeah, tough as nails is there to make it harder for you, whereas we definitely want to make it easier. <laughs> but yeah, I, f I feel like some of this stuff, this could almost be like a reason for the you know the elevators i was talking about the kind of lifts that you could have uh, go up to that oh, top yeah, plateau yeah. there because if the rich folks are going to live up there then i feel like maybe they'd want people down here to like farm stuff for them and then like bring it up on the elevators so i don't know maybe we the can uh, exactly yeah we can we can um we can bring some of the uh the pumpkins and wheat and stuff up on the uh up on the the elevators as like pumpkin blocks and hay bales and all kinds of stuff like that and we can load that on and, and drag it up to the plateau. This farm seems to be attracting zombies at a slightly uh, concerning rate. I think it may just be that we're here, but <laughs> I'm like, what do the zombies want in here? Maybe they're the uh, the undead farmers of the area. Well, that would be kind of hilarious, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. But yeah, how about it then? This farm, beautiful, beautiful. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. It'll look even nicer if we go to sleep as well. <laughs> I'm like... 
<laughs> yeah. I don't want any more yeah. zombies coming around our house. Let's make it it's daytime. It's a nice view of daytime. Yeah. The question is, what should be our next project? Maybe we try and link up the pathways between the house and uh, and then that place. Should be pretty simple. Should be able to do that before the episode's end. Yeah, I think a bit of uh, a bit of infrastructure is in order. I think we need to get some roads on the go and and figure out where else we're going to have roads go in this town while we're at it because looking at it from up here that farm takes up a reasonable amount of space. We could probably fit in a good few other houses though. I feel like maybe a farmhouse would go somewhere next to the farm itself. And then I'm thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, there's uh there's there's room for a fair few houses if we build on a similar sort of scale. But then the town is probably going to stop where we have those two cliffs on either side there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got to think about where the roads are going to go, where the space is going to be used. And I don't know, do you, do you want to maybe build some houses like up on the side of the cliff at some point? Oh, sort of have them coming out of the side of it. Yeah. Because... Kind of like B-dubs' uh, amplified area. Yeah, yeah, like the mining town kind of thing. Yeah. And, and have people, maybe like there's different classes of workers here. So like the farmers all kind of live in the basin down here and they farm stuff. Uh, the rich people live on top in some kind of like castle or mansion or something. And then there's like yeah. the miners sort of halfway up who are kind of between the two of them and who do all of the uh, the hard laboring. Yeah. That sounds like a cool idea, man. I, f I feel like landscapes like this kind of lend themselves to little stories like that anyway. So, uh, so yeah, yeah maybe, maybe sure. we'll, uh, we'll give that a try and see how it goes. Yeah, definitely. In the meantime, should we get some uh, pathways going? Let's get a road on, yeah. Hell yeah.
Oh, oh, hello. How you hey. doing, man? <laughs> We're back, and I'm doing pretty well. And we've we've made Oops, some progress here. <laughs> yeah, I am liking the. Oh, what? Yeah, look at this pathway, dude. Yeah, done pretty well. Done pretty well. I think it, it, it kept. It made sense to keep all of the paths here more like walking paths than like. You know, it's not like organized roads, it's not like they have cars or anything. We've got a little hut here for the farmer, which was your idea, and it looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's got just a, a little place for them to stay. A simple rustic abode, it's got a bed in there, a little work table, crafting bench, couple of chests, all he needs for the tools of the trade. In fact, I'm going to put my iron hoe in there, so hey. uh, in case we need to work the farmland at any point then, that can happen. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, really happy with this. Let's take a quick look from the air, actually, because it would be really nice to see this thing Ooh, from... Yeah from above. Let's fly up to the plateau maybe and see what we can uh, see from up there. If I could get off the ground, excuse me, hello, there we go. Oh, ah. yeah, that's looking good, especially with the little sort of outlines of where future builds might go. Yes, yes, a little bit of, oh, <laughs> I'm just trapped in a bush now. <laughs> Not having the best day flying-wise, but yeah, this place is really coming together, man. I'm happy with this. Yeah, I was saying, I've got a good feeling about this place, man. It just feels right. Yes, and just getting the bare bones, the footprints there. It's like The Sims, where you can just imagine, like, dropping a couple of walls in there, and yeah, it's super good. <laughs> yeah. Right, so on that note, I think it's probably time to wrap up this episode, folks. Let us know in the comments if you're enjoying this project, if you have any any more ideas about what we could build in the surrounding area down here, if you feel like the mines need to go up there, or if you feel like something else could go up on the cliff walls. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where this project goes, man. Yeah, me too, dude. So, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, a big old thumbs up would be super appreciated. Check out Pixel Riffs in the description. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And, uh, yeah, I'll just about wrap it up, eh? Mm-hmm. We'll see you guys next time. See you later.